America's current favorite brothers, Jason and Travis Kelsey, have ventured into the beer world with a major investment into Garage Beer Company. What does this mean? Let's have a beer talk. Let's rewind to 2023 when Braxton Brewing Company, Cincinnati, Ohio, where both the Kelsey brothers played college ball for the Bearcats. They are responsible for a beer called Garage Beer Light Lager. Now, Braxton had an idea to make this beer go nationwide. Now, it was the first, like, 15-pack for $15.99 or in their area. kind of. They were trying to make a light beer that competes with big light beer, like Bud Light, Miller Light, and stuff like that, and have it just be a better quality beer. You know what I mean? These big breweries, they take shortcuts and all this stuff, and, and the flavor isn't necessarily always there. So they were just trying to have a quality light beer that they could sell and blow up nationwide and, and become that brewery, which I think all breweries kind of have that idea. Founders Solid Gold was their attempt. Shorts Local Light was their attempt, and these are home state breweries kind of thing. So at the beginning of 2023, Braxton Brewing Company and Andrew Sauer, a brand investment marketer, teamed up together to create the Garage Beer Company. They have two kinds of beers. They have Garage Beer Light, and then they have Garage Beer Light with Lime. Now, Andrew Sauer, I think, took a major investment in this because Braxton only has their initial investment share into this company, and Andrew Sauer is the president. Now, Andrew Sauer might end up being the main brain behind how good this beer company is going to do, and I after just reading a little bit on this, I think there's a lot of potential behind this beer to just go nationwide, especially with the Kelsey brothers kind of coming into this. So currently, Garage Beer is only available in 13 states. I'm not going to list them all because I don't want to take the time memorizing it to say it all on camera, but Michigan, where I'm at, is, is one of them. I just haven't seen it on shelves here. But again, uh, as I say before, I'm not in a huge market to where everything is readily available to me. I usually have to wait six months before things I see downstate are available to me up here. So you can't find anywhere how much the Kelsey brothers actually invested into this company, but the Kelsey brothers are everywhere with it, talking about it, saying, oh, it's just a simple light beer. That's what me and my boys like to drink. So why wouldn't we want to invest in something like this? So when you go to garagebeer.com, it's, it's the Kelsey brothers. They invested into it. They're probably gonna make a bunch of money off of it. You're gonna see state expansion, you're going to see them promoting the hell out of it. It was a smart move by Andy and both the Kelsey brothers. Again, I'm going to try it. I'm going to buy a 12-pack of it so I get to try it. And I, hopefully I enjoy it. I'm a sucker for lime lager. Bud Light Lime, I really enjoyed. Miller Light, I think they had a lime too that I tried. This was forever ago. Um, but I really liked that one too. You know, part of me wonders how much of this is time that they're going to be investing because ultimately their time is money and they are some of the biggest stars in the world right now. Travis just... Uh, having started dating Taylor Swift, Jason Kelsey just winning a Super Bowl and retiring, being everywhere, shirtless, dancing at Taylor Swift concerts and all sorts of stuff like that. I mean, it, the possibilities for growth are just endless with the Swifties behind it, with the Kelsey brothers behind it. I just, I don't see this being a bad investment. And honestly, this is all the brain work of this Andrew Sauer character, which I mean, that's just genius in itself. So I'd expect to see this nationwide within the next couple of years. I think the only thing holding them back is going to be Braxton Brewing Company's capability of keeping up with it, but they can contract this out. And Andy Sauer being the president of everything, I'm sure there's somewhere in this contract that says, hey, if you can't keep up, we're going to go somewhere else to kind of supplement the brewing just so that Braxton doesn't get kicked out of the whole thing. But yeah, uh, uh, Kelsey Brothers Garage Beer Company, it, it looks really promising for the beer drinking world, especially if you're not happy with the selection that you have for light beers and stuff like that, or if you just want another option. You can't hate on there being another good beer option available because I don't like drinking the same beer all the time. I don't like just drinking Miller High Life all the time or Coors Banquet. You know, sometimes I, I need a Miller High Life. Sometimes I'll take a Bush Light. Sometimes I'll buy that 12 pack of Bush Light. So nothing weird about this, just the Kelsey Brothers going on this for promoting aspects to make money and stuff like that. Uh, I think this is a good move for all parties and I look forward to getting my hands on that beer. But that's going to do it for this episode of Half-Ass Beer Review. Thank you all for stopping by and checking out another beer talk with me. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. What do you think about Garage Beer? What do you think about the Kelsey Brothers getting into it? Um, do, you, do you not like them? Do you not like Travis Kelsey because of the whole Taylor Swift thing? Um, do you not like friendship bracelets? I, I <laughs> just, I want to hear what, what your thoughts are for the whole thing. 
Uh, before you go, please check out my friends Banter and Babble every Wednesday nights at 9 o'clock for the best pop culture wrap up. My friend Draz and the Dungeon Master, Monday nights, 7 o'clock on Twitch for the best Dungeons and Dragons around. Links are down there. You won't be disappointed. And always remember to please keep your fridges full and have a great night.